Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying some Bob's Red Mill gr Granola. Um, I'm sure these have been around for a little while and somehow I just missed them. They were $5.88 a bag at Walmart, but that is an 11 ounce bag. So this is the maple sea salt. This is a lemon blueberry. And this one is coconut spice. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna weigh it out for you because I figured that you all would uh, uh, appreciate getting to see how much you get. Um, this says pan-baked maple sea salt, gluten-free, non-GMO, whole grain, made with whole grain oats and real maple syrup, uh, certified gluten-free. For more information and recipes, visit bobsredmill.com. Uh, dear friends, Perfectly crispy, toasted, golden brown. This granola is just spectacular. When we came up with the recipe, we went back to basics. A handful of simple ingredients, including whole grain oats, real maple syrup, and wholesome seeds, pan-baked to delicious perfection. To the, uh, the end result, crunchy clusters that are rich in flavor, but not too sweet, and taste just like they came out of your own oven at home. It's all part of our mission to bring you whole grain foods for every meal of the day. Uh, to your good health, Bob. Uh, 10 servings are in the bag, a fourth of a cup or 30 grams is 150 calories. They're in Milwaukee, Oregon. And that's spelled different than like Milwaukee, Wisconsin. So I wonder if they say it differently. It looks like it would be said the same. So 30. 30 for 100. Oh, it's not. That is 31. So can you. This is like so, a Lamekin. This has whole grain oats, maple syrup, coconut, coconut oil, brown sugar, pumpkin seeds, yeah, sunflower seeds, seeds, sesame seeds, natural flavor, sea salt, and a mixed antioxidant. Make sure you get some seeds. Mm. Like a soft. Mm -hmm. That's good. That has a very nice maple flavor mm -hmm. with no chemical flavor. Yeah. yeah, that's good. It's like a natural maple. Yeah, the texture, the flavor is really good, but the texture is what sells me. That would be awesome to uh, to bake something with. Mm -hmm. Or put on Mars. your yogurt. Uh huh. Or s just snack on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that'd be good. That is very delicious. Mm -hmm. I wonder if you could use any of these to make like. Um, Flapjacks. I don't know. The bars. That's oats. Bars. Yeah, I know. I don't know. I don't know if you could have a different type of that. That tastes like candy, though. I really, really good. like that. That is. That's nice. So this one is 30 grams. Is 140 calories. Oh. This is the the um, least amount between the three. I get coconut left over too. Lemon think. blueberry. Um, whole grain oats, maple syrup, coconut, coconut oil, brown sugar, blueberries, so, sunflower seeds, salt, natural flavor, lemon powder, and mixed antioxidant. And I'm reading you, when I read you that those ingredients, that's every ingredient in here. Nothing, artif no, nothing uh, super artificial that you can't understand. So we weighed out one, so you saw how much you're supposed to get. That's blueberries in there. I know, it's just a matter of getting oh, some. Man. Yeah, they're like freeze-dried blueberries. Mm. Well, they have a chew to them. Mm -hmm. That's good, but not as good as the first one. You probably like it. It says it's made with real maple syrup, but I don't taste the maple in here. That's probably just to help bind things together. There's actually pieces in there uh, coconut flakes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. I don't like it. Like I said, I don't like it as much as the first one. I like it. Like, Look at this huge hump. You can really taste the lemon for the most part. Mm -hmm. You, you, the blueberry gives it a chew, kind of like a if you put a raisin in there mm -hmm. or something like that. It, it's chewy like the raisin that. Raisin a little softer though. 
Yeah, so you do get blueberry when you get a blueberry, but the it looks like 90% of it, uh, now when I did that, you saw a bunch of blueberries in there, I was gonna say. <laughs> I think like 90, yeah, they must be down at the bottom. I think most of it is just granola though. Yeah. So you get the flavor you're coming away with is a lemon. Mm -hmm. It's um, not bad. I do think it's good, but I still like the other one better. Yeah, right. Because the yeah, other I do one like the lemon seriously flavor. like candy. I like the lemon flavor, but and it's not that's like a lemon juice, like that squirted lemon juice over top of it. So this one is 30 grams is 150. So I'm curious about the spice. Um this is coconut spice. And I'll read you the ingredients that it says. Ooh, there's some big uh, flakes. You see mm -hmm. those big flakes of coconut? Okay, so it yeah, says that's one piece of coconut. Well, look at this. Mm -hmm. uh, it says whole grain oats, coconut, maple syrup, coconut oil, brown sugar, sunflower seeds, sesame seeds, spices, salt, natural flavor, and mixed antioxidant. It does not say what spices. There's definitely some cinnamon. Maybe some cloves and nutmeg. And nutmeg. Uh -huh. I don't really get like a ginger, which is probably a good thing. No. I'm thinking it has nutmeg. No. Yeah. Again, I say, I say I got a lot, a lot of cloves. Instead. That reminds me of um, of something you would have in the fall. Mm -hmm. It does say very fall. -like. It really does. And I think it's just those spices. That, I like it. There's nothing wrong with it, but that is my the least, least favorite. favorite. Yes. Yeah. That would yeah, actually. Yeah, because like, when I eat grow, I want something sweet feeling. Uh huh. Like it's sweeter. And those spices. Make kinda, it more savory almost. Yes. Yeah. I could see eating that. This might sound weird to you, but you know how a lot of desserts, like pumpkin pies and stuff, they have a crumble on top. I was going to say a crumble. That, that would make a perfect crumble. Like if you're making a pumpkin pie. Yeah, or a pumpkin cheesecake. You could or something dump like that. that on. Yes, you could dump that on top. And then put some kind of like a caramel glaze or something, mm -hmm. just a light caramel. That would make on. a good crumble. That would be a delicious crumble. Yeah. yeah but eating it by itself, I, I don't necessarily. No, eat. I wouldn't eat it by itself. Uh, I still think it would be good in yogurt. It wouldn't be my choice no. though. Uh, my choice is the maple sea salt. I don't so. Delicious, absolutely. It's very very good. Uh, yeah, they're all good, but out of the three, that one is is the best. Yeah. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.